Hi everyone, welcome back to Sedu Satsavi Tutorials. We are here with a new video and this will be beneficial for pharmacy professionals. In this video, I will discuss about the classification of anti-amoebic drugs. Also, I will be mentioning about the important heterocyclic chemical rings present in some of these drugs. So without any further delay, let's start. Anti-amoebic drugs are uh, basically given for amoebiasis, which is an infectious disease caused by the protozoa called as Entamoeba histolytica. And the drugs can be broadly classified into three categories, luminal amoebocytes, systemic amoebocytes, and uh, mixed amoebocytes. Now coming to the first category of drugs called as luminal amoebocytes. Luminal amoebocytes act on amoeba present in the lumen of bowel or intestine. Therefore, they can be used for the treatment of intestinal amoebiasis. Now before I start with the drugs belonging to this category, I want you to identify this particular heterocyclic ring. Yes, this is called as quinoline, which is nothing but a fusion of benzene ring with a pyridine ring. The numbering of quinoline starts from the nitrogen atom and it goes on like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, if you substitute the 8th position of quinoline with an OH group, it would become 8-hydroxyquinoline. Some of the derivatives of 8-hydroxyquinoline were shown to have luminal amoebocyte action and the drugs are iodochlorohydroxyquine and diiodohydroxyquine. Now this iodochlorohydroxyquine is also called as quinidochlor or cloquinol whereas dihydroxyquine is also called as iodoquinol. Now moving to the next category called as amide group containing drugs and amides are nothing but a carbonyl group attached to a nitrogen atom. Diloxanate furoate and nitasoxanate are amide group containing drugs having, a, having luminal amoebocyte action. Next some of the antibiotics such as tetracycline group of drugs and paramomycin which is an aminoglycoside antibiotic also belong to luminal amoebocytes. Next, uh, we will move to the systemic amoebocytes. Systemic amoebocytes uh, mainly act on amoeba present outside the intestine, such as liver, as well as on the walls of the intestine. Therefore, systemic amoebocytes can be used for the treatment of extra intestinal amoebiasis. Now, again, this is a heterocyclic uh, ring, quinoline, and the numbering goes on like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, if you substitute the fourth position of a quinoline with an NH2 group, it would become 4 amino quinoline. Chloroquine is one of the main anti malarial as well as anti rheumatoid drug, is a derivative of 4 amino quinoline, has also got a systemic amoebocide action. Now we'll move to the last category of uh, anti-amoebic drugs, which are called as uh, mixed amoebocytes. As the name tells, uh, mixed amoebocytes can perform the function of uh, both luminal amoebocyte as well as systemic amoebocytes. Therefore, it can be used for the treatment of both intestinal as well as extra-intestinal amoebiasis. Now, before telling the drugs belonging to this particular category, I want you to identify this particular heterocyclic ring, which is a five-membered heterocyclic ring containing two nitrogen atoms at the alternative positions. Yes, this is nothing but imidazole. The numbering of imidazole starts from the bottom nitrogen atom and it goes on like this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now, if you substitute the fifth position of imidazole with an NO2 group, it would become 5-nitroimidazole. Some of the derivatives of 5-nitroimidazole were shown to be very much effective in the treatment of both intestinal and extra-intestinal amoebiasis. That is, uh, they belong to this uh, mixed amoebocyte category. And the name of the drugs end with uh, nidazole, N-I-D-A-Z-O-L-E. Examples are metronidazole, T-nidazole, secnidazole, ornidazole and satranidazole. Also, some of the basic uh, naturally occurring organic substances containing at least one nitrogen atom, commonly called as alkaloids, also possess anti-amoebic action. 
emitin and dehydroemitin are two important alkaloids having mixed amoeboside action. So with that, we have come to the end of the classification of uh, anti-amoebic drugs based on its chemistry and pharmacology. Hope you really understood and enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, do subscribe to this channel, Say Do Such Savi Tutorials, to learn more and more in the way it has to be learned. With that, I am signing off. See you again with a new video. Until then, bye bye, take care.